Okay guys, so a couple of you have been asking me how I do my iPhone screen recordings and most importantly how I end up with video and audio that's in sync, doesn't go out of sync. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to set this up on an iPhone and how to use a piece of free software called Handbrake in order to fix those uh, synchronization issues. So if we quickly go to settings on the iPhone and scroll down to control center here. And then within control center we want customized controls. So you can see here the apps I've already got, Torch, Timer, Calculator, Camera, Screen Recording, I've already got that on there. What I could do is I could remove that by clicking the minus, I won't. If you don't see that, then you'll see Screen Recording down here, alphabetically, in between Notes and Stopwatch. You'll see it round about there. You just click, click the plus and it comes on the screen. And then when you've done that, you flick the bottom of the screen up and it's the little box in the bottom corner mine's flashing red because i'm recording so if you push and hold the recording button it brings up these recording options here you've got to make sure that your microphone audio is turned on otherwise you won't record any sound you'll record the native sound of whatever app you're in but you won't record your voice unless the microphone audio is turned on that's step one i'll show you how to do step two right now okay guys so the next thing you got to do is you've got to load up image capture or whatever you use on a PC to get the video off your phone and onto your computer. I've got it loaded up here. I'm going to click on my phone, make sure my phone is unlocked and that it trusts this computer. So I am going to take this video here. In fact, I'll take all three. So I'm going to be using a free piece of software called Handbrake. You can download this uh, off the internet here. You can see open source video. Uh, I'm going to get Handbrake for Mac, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to open up Handbrake. And you can see that when I do, it gives me this window here where it's looking for the file that I want to use. So I put these files on the desktop and I'm ready to convert it. Now it really doesn't matter whether you're in Windows or a PC. Uh, the layout is pretty much exactly the same. There are two things that you're going to need to do. So you can leave it as an MP4 file. That's fine. Fast 1080p 30. That's going to change in a second anyway. The two things you really need to focus on are video and audio. So I'm going to get to the video first. Now the reason that iPhone videos sometimes go out of sync, the, the lip syncs off uh, when you put them straight into your video editing suite, is because they don't come across in constant frame rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click constant frame rate and because I'm working in the UK with PAL, I'm going to take it down to 25 frames per second. So it's the same as the rest of my project. So 25 PAL and constant frame rate. The other thing you can do is this constant quality over here. If you take it up you'll get a higher quality video, but a much larger file. I tend to take it right down to zero, which gives slightly smaller file sizes. The second thing is to go over into audio and look here. So audio track zero is the native audio of the app. Now some apps are better at this than others, but that's whatever the music or sound effects a game is playing or whatever else. One is the audio that you've recorded, is your voice. So as long as you've enabled the microphone whilst recording audio and video on your iPhone, then bring in both tracks here, and you'll have the option to toggle the tracks on or off when you put them into the video editing suite, Premiere Pro, for example. Final thing down here is just to make sure where you're going to put them. I'm not going to put that in movies because I won't find it. I'm going to put it back on the desktop. And because I'm putting it back on the desktop and there's already a file there with the same name, I'm going to rename my file, and I think this was Shooting Hoops. And then I could click Start, or if I've got lots and lots of videos that I want to do, I could add this to the queue. I could drag the next video in, open source, and drag the next video in. Do all of those settings again, add it to queue. I can add as many to queue as I like. When I've got all of the ones in the queue that I want, all the videos I want, I simply click Start and wait for my video footage to convert. Once it's converted, you can take the MP4 file and drop it into any uh, video editing program and it will not only work, but it will also fix that audio sync issue. I've been Dr. H. On behalf of Octobeard Media, thank you for watching this quick tutorial on how to get video off your iPhone.